All right, go. Hey folks, we're here at Liberty Vintage today, and we're gonna shift gears. We're gonna go from repairing motorcycles to chasing the paranormal. I've been convinced for years that some certain motorcycles are actually possessed. And I finally isolated a motorcycle poltergeist in that yellow CV500 over there. And I believe I'm able to catch it on film today. This is going to be a monumental occasion. This is potentially in line with the rare Bigfoot footage from Saskatchewan, Canada. So what we're going to show you now is we're going to establish a baseline with an entirely different motorcycle. This is a similar bike, a CB550. Sophie here has the meter. So here's our meter on. Our meter is on 20 volt DC range. This is to establish that our meter is working properly. Keep your, uh, keep your focus on the numbers. Okay, 12.4. Turn the key off, baseline, 12-8. We're doing great. Well, let's hustle our butts on over here to this poltergeist-infested CB500. I'm going to draw your attention to the fact that we've replaced the stator. Here's the old stator. It was doing some weird things. It did not ohm out correctly. So I replaced it with one that I had, a known good one, my test CB500-550 stator. We have yet to hook up this stator. That's not true. We did hook it up and sh it shit just looked freaking goofy. So we disconnected it. And on a whim, I made some tests with the stator, fully disconnected. <coughs> we don't even regulate her. We don't even have a rectifier. We don't even have a stator plugged in. Let's hustle over here, get some eyes on those numbers. Sophie, let's get a baseline. This is our baseline, it's a little weak, 11.95. Now let's remember, we do not have a regulator on this. We do not even have a rectifier on this. We do not even have the stator hooked up. The wires are swinging in the wind. Voltage drop with the key on, light on, that's... So what is that? Now I'm switching my meter to the 200 range. two o'clock, we're going to put our meter on that battery. That battery is not connected to the motorcycle we're testing in any way. So let's get a shot of the numbers on that battery. Let's see what happens. Keep in mind, this battery is not hooked up to our bike. Volts 
and idle. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to shut this bike off. Remember, we're connected to a battery that is at least four feet from the motorcycle, not hooked up in any way. When we start it, eyes on the meter. Watch this. How the hell do you stop electricity that's coming through the air? The only thing you can do is replace the entire wiring harness and the entire charging system. And then what happens if it still does that? Now watch as I go away from the bike. I break in contact with the poltergeist field and my voltage is dropping. You want to know why it's dropping? Because the battery the meter is on isn't hooked to anything. Come back, come back, come back to the bike. Lay it on the bike. Here, let's put the meter over here so you can see the wires are only connected to the battery. Look, no wires, no wires. It's not connected. How do you battle electricity that's coming from the air? If anybody needs a jump start, I only need to come within four feet of you to reduce 25 volts at least. How do you battle electricity that's coming from the air? Now, in case there's any doubt, we're gonna do this one more time. We're going to go through it, and we're going to show you. My stator is not connected. These are my regulator wires right here. They are not connected. These went to the stator plug. They are not connected. So what do you think? Poltergeist? It's possible. Let's take a baseline on the battery that is not connected.